Hello? Hello? Like scary movies. Like, like scary. Like, like scary. Like, like scary. Like, just some scary movie. Hey, hey, spooky pretties, and happy Thanksgiving. At least tomorrow it is. You guys have any awesome Thanksgiving plans? What are we eating? I'm so excited to dive in to our Thanksgiving meal. But today, as promised from last week, I have some amazing items to unbox with you and you'll get the first look just as I'm getting the first look. But first, let's talk about today's shirt. I'm really excited about this one. This is new and it comes from Theater of Creeps. Let me stand up. All right, this is from Theater of Creeps. Check out the link below. I'm not sure if they are still selling them, but you can check it out. It's got Scream here at the bottom, some really nice yellows and purples and blues. And what I really, really love about this shirt, yes, we have Ghostface and Casey's eyes and Steve's guts coming out and Casey screaming on the TV, but on top of the TV is my favorite part. We've got Friday the 13th, Halloween, Prom Night, Nightmare on Elm Street, and The Howling all movies talked about in Scream. I love it. I love little details like that. So check them out today. See if you can grab something killer and make sure you're following them on Instagram. All right. So I've recently acquired some bucket list items on my personal bucket list that I had to have for my collection and I'm going to unbox them with you here. Now the sellers of these items are probably wondering why the hell has she not messaged me to let me know if she likes the item? Well, because I haven't opened them yet. <laughs> I've been saving them specifically for this video. So let's start off with the first one. This one I actually found on eBay and I didn't know it was a bucket list item. It really wasn't on my list of items to get, but when I saw it, I knew I had to have it because it's kind of rare. So. Let's check it out. All right, we've got bubble wrap, which means we're getting to the goods. Ooh. I think some of you guys saw people talking about these listings on eBay, but if you didn't, this will be a surprise for you. Look at this. Oh my God, this is so cool. This is a ghost face racer full set. So this is a whole set of these little race cars that came out in 2011 for the Scream 4 merch line. And all of the race cars are still in here. And this is the display box that you would see at like Spirit Halloween or Walgreens, wherever these were sold. And it's a whole box of them. I'm so excited. Let's see if I can, oh, it's sealed. I don't know, should I unseal it? Can I take a peek? Okay, yeah, we can. We can take a peek because I don't know if I want to unseal this. So see, look, in here is a whole set of them. Just tiny little ghost face racers. How cool is that? And it's taped here on the sides, but this would pop up and then it would display all of them inside. Oh my God, that is so cool. Where is my little race car? See, I don't even remember where my stuff is now that I reorganized. Aha. So they all look like this. And I believe I featured him on my channel already. So this is its entire box. Oh, and it does, okay, so yeah, it kind of pops up here. This is a better look. It does pop up here. Let me take a look. Oh my God, <laughs> mini race cars. That's awesome. Oh my God, I'm, I'm in love with this. This is so cool. The gentleman selling this actually had three or four for sale. My editor got one and he's the one who let me know about this. So this is so cool. But we've got an image of the item here on the front. We've got the Ghostface logo with the racer here. And underneath it, it says, a crazy racer to scare up some Halloween fun. Just pull back and watch it go while its arm bobs up and down. And got the Fun World logo here in the corner. Scream 4 logo here. Nothing on the back, just plain white. And on the sides, we've got some trademark information. And again here, more logos. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. 
It's in immaculate condition. I don't see any damage and barely even any wear. This must have been kept nicely somewhere, stored nicely. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you, Jack, for letting me know about this purchase on eBay. I'm excited. Yay. Next up, the next two items actually are masks. Da 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 da. Y'all are gonna be happy about these masks. <laughs> Do y'all know what this is? Let's get the tag out. Else. So this is a Halloween Horror Nights mask, also called an HHN mask. These were exclusively made for the Halloween Horror Nights Terror Tram ride that was out at Universal Studios in 2011. Only 250 of these were made and they were not sold in stores. So you could only be a Universal employee and 200 of those employees got these and the rest were kind of given away on Twitter and various things like that, but they were not sold in stores and they were just exclusively made for this event, this haunted attraction at Universal Studios. And if you've been to Halloween Horror Nights before, it's a blast. And I'm so sad I didn't get to go to the Scream attraction in 2011. I actually went the year after in 2012, so I missed it by literally a year. But anyways, back to the mask. This is similar to a deluxe version mask, except the material is thicker and longer shroud and it's got like some foaming here, foam padding here around the hood and it does have a vanilla smell mm. and it's an awfully sturdy mask. It's very sturdy and durable and the tag up here says collector's edition Scream 4. We've got the black and red tag up here and this version does not glow in the dark, but it does have the vanilla smell and it is a nice deluxe type shroud and sturdy face. So check this out on the back. The manufacture date was April to June of 2011. So yeah, this is a harder mask to get a hold of and having it tagged is also extremely nice. Some of these masks were actually identified, like numbered, like number 230, whatever. Not all of them were, but some of them were like on the inside. Mine is not, and my inside is blank. It does have a strap to put around your head. And it's got some little tags here on the inside, again, stating the manufacture date and the fun world um, information and that it is 70% cotton and 30% polyester. But mine is not numbered, but some people's are, like with a Sharpie or with a little tag. And here's the Easter Unlimited stamp. Can you see it right there? So yes, major shout out to Carrie Ann and Steve, both people who knew I wanted this mask and that it was on my bucket list. Thank you to them for notifying me that it was on one of the Scream forums on Facebook. And thank you to Jerry for selling it to me. Jerry actually cracked me up because when I messaged him to see if this mask was still available, he at first was kind of just talking to me, you know, like a regular person. And then all of a sudden he was like, oh, it's you. <laughs> Meaning it's me, apparently. <laughs> it just made me really laugh because he didn't realize who I was at first. And not that I'm anybody important, but I guess he watches my channel. So that was cool. Thank you to Jerry. And thank you to Steve and Carrie Ann for helping me add this to my collection. All right, last but not least. Do y'all remember Jeremy, who sold me a bunch of badass stuff, including the sealed coffin cooler? Jeremy hooked me up with another bucket list item, and I'm so excited for this. It's about rare mass today, guys. Ah. All right, let's get this tag out. Here we have another limited run mask. 
There are only a thousand of these. And this is a cryptic gauze ghost face mask. Look how long the shroud is, guys. And it's mummy looking. Well, I don't know about mummy, but maybe tomb, like tombstone looking, if that's what you want to call it. But yeah, cryptic gauze. So cool. Oh my God. Give me a second. I'm just taking it all in. We've got a really cool tag here because obviously I don't have one of these masks. I don't have one of these tags. Look at the image right here of the item in the corner. I love that. That is so cool. I love seeing new tags. And this glows in the dark, as you can see right here in bright yellow. Can't miss it. And these were from 1997. So this is pretty damn old. Yeah. <laughs> So you can kind of tell the material of the mask. You can tell that it's one that would glow in the dark. And here's the back of the shroud. Got some on purpose staining to make it look old and dirty and creepy. And it goes all the way here at the bottom. That's just a little tag. And that tag says, yeah, just the fun world information and the address of where they're located, yada, yada, yada. But this right here is definitely polyester um, along with the gauzy type material. It's like, oh my God, I'm gonna twirl my hair. <laughs> That's what that makes me think of. But how cool, how cool, how cool is this? So again, only a thousand of these were made and stamps kind of hard to see. It's got a T stamp, EU ink made in China and then a T stamp right there, can you see it all? So hard to tell from here, but hopefully you're getting a good glimpse. And let's see if there's anything on the inside that might be of interest. It does have a strap for you to put around your head. And yeah, yeah, nothing really crazy in there, but how neat, right? Am I right? So yeah, I got a mask that's one of 250 today and one of a thousand. So cool. Both tagged and both in really nice condition. I'm so happy. Thank you both to Jeremy and Jerry. The J names are coming through. Here's the back of the tag if you wanna take a look. I love this tag. I don't know, man. I think I just fell in love with this tag. Like what in God's name? I'm feeling all sorts of goosebumps over here. And it also says here, one size fits all, soft and comfortable to wear, like lifelike realism. I don't know about that, but, <laughs> and superior, <laughs> superior quality. Love it. And yeah, it's got Scream, 1997 Miramax Film Corporation, all rights reserved. So yeah, almost a 25 year old mask. Bitchin', look how good this looks. All right, I'll stop gushing because I feel like I haven't shut up in the last few minutes. Cool. So very nice, very nice. So thank you guys for watching me unbox these brand new items for my collection. And I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and I will catch you guys here hopefully next week. I'm supposed to be going to Germany next week and if I get crazy busy, we might have to take a week break, but I might be back then. I might be back the following week. Either way, I will be back shortly, so stay tuned. Turn that notification bell on so you see my next upload. And I hope you guys are keeping it weird and making it Meggy. Bye-bye.